warm welcome to our coverage of the GT classes from Cota for Trans Am. And some new faces, Dan Cox taking pole in the Mercedes. But look at this man, it was Justin Oaks from Houston, Texas in the Droneworks Chevrolet Corvette. Lee Saunders, four wins in a row, one lap only at Cota, and the number 84 championship leader out early. Amy Ruman up to third at the start. And Ken Thwaites having to battle hard to get back up to speed. Richard Grant just behind him in the Corvette. Oaks' debut, impressive, but sadly, both he and the pole man, Knox, would not make it to the finish. Amy Ruman had a tussle with Tommy Dreesey in TA. Having got up to third, she would drop down to sixth place. Leading the way in XGT, Jason Daskaloff of Albuquerque, New Mexico, in the vintage 423 Audi R8 Ultra. Having a great day out. Hasn't raced this season in Trans Am was on great form. And in SGT, it was a good battle between Adrian Lostoski in the Mustang Cobra and Lou Gigliotti of Princeton, Texas in the Chevrolet Corvette. It wasn't long before the XGT battle got embroiled with the TA class. Justin Oakes just staying ahead of Dan Knox, but sadly, both would not finish. And in the battle for GT, Billy Griffin holding off in his Ford Mustang, Sean Young from Austin, Texas, in the Aston Martin, making his debut in Trans Am. What a way to go. And these two would fight it out all the way to the end. And on board with Adrian Lostowski chasing Lou Gigliotti, who had a terrible Virginia. But as you can see, side by side, Lostowski just getting through. Lostowski already with one win under his belt this season on good form again in the circuit of the Americas. Once again, the Mercedes and the Corvette going head to head. Dan Knox having to give a place away to the powerful Corvette, but then getting it back under braking at turn one. Sadly, the drone works. Chevrolet Corvette would not make it to the end. And unfortunately, Justin Oakes would have to park it up while in second place in XGT. That gave Jason Daskalos the lead in XGT. And with Kent Waits, Further back, Kenth Waits has been waiting for some competition. Well, he got it at Cota in the form of Jason Daskalos. Daskalos winning ahead of Kenth Waits. Justin Oakes did get third place despite not finishing. And in the GT class, Billy Griffin won over Sean Young, making his debut. Uh, the vintage 423 Audi R8 ran great today. Still getting used to it, still trying to set it up. You know, it's a new car to us. Um, but glad with, the, glad with the result and glad to be here. The battle for SGT went all the way, but it was the Texan, Lou Gigliotti, who won his first win of the season and his third in Trans Am. Confirmation of the results then, Gigliotti with the win in the Chevrolet Corvette, Lostowski second in the Ford Mustang, and Milton Grant third. Natalie Decker takes a win in the West Coast Championship in her Audi R8. And there'll be no time to rest on their laurels because we'll be back in action again in a week's time at Road Atlanta. It's a double header on the 19th to the 22nd. We'll see you then.